<laughs> Was that what you wanted? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> skinning up the Emma's Ridge right now up here in Alta and I think it's like five degrees but the sun is cooking us and I am getting super sweaty <laughs> glasses are fogging up but didn't expect this in January but uh, we've had a pretty interesting persistent week layer uh, thus far up to the season seems like we're burying it after we've gotten about six feet in the last 10 days or so but today we're gonna ski some south south uh, slopes across from the ski area and really harvest some powder. We have gotten a ton of snow recently. We had one kind of stormy ski day that was a lot of fun, but this is our first day, or my first day getting out in the sun. Yesterday was bluebird too, but like negative six. So I <laughs> called it off. It's really sticky on the south facing stuff. So we're gonna try to get into a pocket that has maybe a little bit less south in it. And it might be colder and drier. It's been really tough to find like terrain that's safe to ski with the purchase and week layer but then doesn't get baked by the uh, sun and Alta doesn't let you park for a backcountry before 8 a.m. so we're just doing our best but uh... <laughs> Just did one lap of the Emma's, but the snow was getting pretty, uh, pretty soft. And uh, a couple weeks ago, it got kind of gluey at the bottom. So decided to bail, skin over here to um, Honeycomb and ski some west-facing things. It's still pretty sunny, but hopefully we won't get that glue factor where the snow sticks on your skis and you can't go downhill. But it's still super sunny and plenty of terrain to, to ski over here.
little coffee to finish up the day. It was a great tour. Paul's alive, so that's always a, a win-win. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this, press like and subscribe for more. Thanks.